Look at the air bubbles in that. Can you see it? Oh, how does it taste, shall we? Yo, 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 Chef Khaled in the house! Guys, I'm very, very excited because today is my first cooking tutorial! I'll be showing you guys how to make the perfect tasty, crispy honeycomb! It's gonna be divine, it's gonna be golden, it's gonna have a snap to it! It's going to be amazing! Now guys, I'm going to share with you the recipe, I'm going to share with you the specific ingredients and where to get them because one of them is quite difficult to find, believe me. Number three, you'll see the results and there's no reason why you can't replicate the results because I'm showing you everything. Yowie! Honeycomb is actually, it's quite technical, however... I will be taking you through the steps. I will be holding your hand and we can go on the journey together. Now let me stop talking and let's get cooking. Let's go! So, golden syrup, you need 30 ml. Liquid glucose, you need 100 ml. Caster sugar, you need 100 grams. And by carbonate of soda, you need 10 grams. And there you have it guys, the four ingredients you need to make honeycomb. Let's go! Alright guys, make sure you have these four things ready before you start the cooking process. Starting from the right, you need a container lined with parchment paper very important so that you pour in your honeycomb moving on you need a probe so that you measure the temperature accurately you need a whisk so that you can whisk in the bicarbonate of soda and then you need a spatula or otherwise known as a maurice to scrape everything from the pan into your gastro with parchment paper make sure you're ready Alrighty guys, now for simplicity, we're going to weigh everything in one pan. Don't forget to tear. Alright guys, it's at zero. Let's begin. Look at that golden syrup. Bring it to 30 grams. Done. Now let's get on to the glucose. Now remember what I was saying about the ingredients guys. Make sure you buy glucose from Waitrose because Holland and Barra don't have it, normal supermarkets don't have it. It was very difficult to source, but Waitrose saved the day. 100 grams of glucose, done. Next, caster sugar, 100 grams as well. Let's go, let's go, it's going quick. There we go, there we go, done, done, done. Alrighty guys, let's get cooking. So, you wanna start your honeycomb on a very low heat. You want everything to incorporate together, but take its time. Do not stir at this early stage, guys, okay? Now, what I have done is I fast-forwarded because it does take a bit of time, guys. Now, what you'll see now is that you can give the pan a little shake. You can use a little whisk because now the caramel is hot enough so that it won't crystallize. However, now you need to pay close attention because we want that probe to reach 145 degrees. Pay very, very close attention. Yowie! Alrighty guys, so this is where you need to be very fast. So you add your bicarb of soda. Make sure you've passed that through a sieve as well, just so you've got no lumps. And you need to start whisking. You need to incorporate that bicarb of soda into that caramel that you've just made, into that. And just keep whisking, whisk, whisk, whisk. You need all of that bicarb to be fully incorporated. And then just, just look, just watch as that Look at the honeycomb just rising. It's absolutely amazing. It's just rising, it's rising, it's rising. And then soon what you're going to do is look, you get your container that you've got parchment with 
and then you start decanting the lovely aerated honeycomb into the pan using that spatula that you've got close to you because you're organized you've got the spatula right next to you and then look no wastage everything's gone into the container and watch as the honeycomb still rises while it's in the container it's absolutely divine yowee now you can leave that honeycomb to one side for about an hour and a half so that it sets in the meantime you're gonna need to clean down so that pan you've just been using is gonna be sticky so put some water in there bring it up to the boil and just let that boil for a couple of minutes any residue on the whisk or the spatula will definitely come off and then when you pour that water into the sink the edges will be clean yowie all right guys so you might be thinking well what's this uh rolling pin doing near this lovely look at look at this honeycomb well we're gonna smash it we're gonna smash it now i hope you're ready let's go oh two <gasps> Look at, look guys, look at that, look at the air bubbles, look, look at the air bubbles in that, can you see it, oh, how does it taste, shall we? And please, guys, you've, you've done the hard work. You've made these beautiful honeycomb. Store it in an airtight container. Because you want to keep the crispiness. Also, I wouldn't advise to put it in the fridge. Keep it uh, ambient in an airtight container. And you can enjoy. Enjoy. Yowie. One more bite? Come on, you know you want it. Mm. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. But before you go, there's three Chef Khaled tips specifically to do with today's tutorial. Number one, remember the temperature of the honeycomb goes up to 145 degrees. It's very hot. So please be careful because I do not want you to burn yourself. So can Number two is make sure you have everything ready that I showed you before you start the process. That way, everything's around you, everything's to hand. You'll be ready. You'll be the triple C's. Cool, calm, and connected. That's what we want. And number three has got to be, do not stir. Do not stir the honeycomb. That will result in the honeycomb crystallizing and we do not want that that results in the honeycomb being chewy and then it sticks in your teeth not good for your teeth no one's gonna be happy guys and remember tag me in your attempts your efforts i've 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 messed up honeycomb however you learn from your mistakes so if you share with me your results I'll know, oh, that's because of this, that's because of that, and that's how we learn. 
Yowie! And if you've got any questions, put them down below in the comments. If there's tutorial ideas you'd like me to, to go through, any ideas guys, put them in the comments and I am here, I am ready to go. As you can see, I'm good to go. I'm ready. Give it to me. Yowie! Three, two, one. Yowie! Come on! First cookie tutorial done. Let's go! Come on! Oh! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and join me. Be part of the Yowie Squad where we cook with love because that's the main ingredient. Love! Yowie! See you in the next video, guys, and have a blessed day! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Come on! Yeah, we...